7. Universal Evolutionary Repercussions The steady progress of evolution in the time-space universes is accompanied by ever-enlarging revelations of deity to all intelligent creatures. The attainment of the height of evolutionary progress on a world, in a system, constellation, universe, superuniverse, or in the grand universe signalizes corresponding enlargements of deity function to and in these progressive units of creation. And every such local enhancement of divinity realization is accompanied by certain well-defined repercussions of enlarged deity manifestation to all other sectors of creation. Extending outward from paradise, each new domain of realized and attained evolution constitutes a new and enlarged revelation of experiential deity to the universe of universes. As the components of a local universe are progressively settled in light and life, God the Sevenfold is increasingly made manifest. Time-space evolution begins on a planet with the first expression of God the Sevenfold, the Creator-Son-Creative Spirit Association, in control. With the settling of a system in light, this Son-Spirit liaison attains the fullness of function. And when an entire constellation is thus settled, the second phase of God the Sevenfold becomes more active throughout such a realm. The completed administrative evolution of a local universe is attended by new and more direct ministrations of the super-universe master spirits, and at this point there also begins that ever-expanding revelation and realization of God the Supreme, which culminates in the ascender's comprehension of the Supreme Being while passing through the worlds of the sixth Havona circuit. The Universal Father, the Eternal Son, and the Infinite Spirit are existential deity manifestations to intelligent creatures, and are not, therefore, similarly expanded in personality relations with the mind and spirit creatures of all creation. It should be noted that ascending mortals may experience the impersonal presence of successive levels of deity long before they become sufficiently spiritual and adequately educated to attain experiential personal recognition of and contact with these deities as personal beings. Each new evolutionary attainment within a sector of creation, as well as every new invasion of space by divinity manifestations, is attended by simultaneous expansions of deity functional revelation within the then existing and previously organized units of all creation. This new invasion of the administrative work of the universes and their component units may not always appear to be executed exactly in accordance with the technique herewith outlined, because it is the practice to send forth advanced groups of administrators to prepare the way for the subsequent and successive eras of new administrative overcontrol. Even God the Ultimate foreshadows his transcendental overcontrol of the universes during the later stages of a local universe settled in light and life. It is a fact that, as the creations of time and space are progressively settled in evolutionary status, there is observed a new and fuller functioning of God the Supreme, concomitant with a corresponding withdrawing of the first three manifestations of God the Sevenfold. If and when the grand universe becomes settled in light and life, what then will be the future function of these creator-creative manifestations of God the Sevenfold, if God the Supreme assumes direct control of these creations of time and space? Are these organizers and pioneers of the time-space universes to be liberated for similar activities in outer space? We do not know, but we speculate much concerning these and related matters. As the frontiers of experiential deity are extended out into the domains of the unqualified absolute, we envision the activity of God the Sevenfold during the earlier evolutionary epochs of these creations of the future. We are not all in agreement respecting the future status of the Ancients of Days and the super-universe master spirits. Neither do we know whether or not the Supreme Being will therein function as in the seven super-universes. But we all conjecture that the Michaels, the Creator Sons, are destined to function in these outer universes. Some hold that the future ages will witness some closer form of union between the associated Creator Sons and Divine Ministers. It is even possible that such a Creator union might eventuate in some new expression of Associate Creator identity of an ultimate nature. 
but we really know nothing about these possibilities of the unrevealed future. We do know, however, that in the universes of time and space, God the Sevenfold provides a progressive approach to the Universal Father, and that this evolutionary approach is experientially unified in God the Supreme. We might conjecture that such a plan must prevail in the outer universes. On the other hand, the new orders of beings that may sometime inhabit these universes may be able to approach deity on ultimate levels and by absinite techniques. In short, we have not the slightest concept of what technique of deity approach may become operative in the future universes of outer space. Nevertheless, we deem that the perfected super-universes will in some way become a part of the Paradise Ascension careers of those beings who may inhabit these outer creations. It is quite possible that in that future age we may witness outer spacers approaching Havona through the seven super-universes administered by God the Supreme, with or without the collaboration of the seven master spirits.